Welcome to our today's mathematics lesson, strand multiplication and substrand addition, multiplication as, added, as a repeated addition. Now, let's start from the word addition. Initially, we had done addition as a strand, that is grade 2, but now we are going to use the same concept to work out multiplication. Now, addition is simply putting things together, just like we did it in grade 1 and grade 2, and uh, when you talk about multiplication as added addition, we are going to uh, see how we, multi we uh, reflect multiplication when objects are added in a series or in, in a, a line. For example, 2 times 3. Now, 2 times 3 can be as well written in a repeated addition sentence. For example, we'll have the first digit here, that is what we write, 2. Then we find out how many times is 2 added, so that, how many times is 2 added, so that we can get to know the number of times you're going to add. So 2 times 3, the number, the figure 3 will give us how many times it is added. It is going to be added 3 times. So we write 2 plus 2 plus 2. When we count all these, 1, 2, 3, it tells us that figure 2 or number 2 is added 3 times. Hence, we have 2 multiplied by 3. So, let us try and work it out and find out what our answer will be. Now, to start, we are going to use the concept of, of addition of 3 single digit numbers. That is 2 plus 2. We write our answer above here. Then we add our answer to 2 to get our final answer. So let us try and work it out. So we have 2 on our fingers and 2 on our head. So 2, 3, 4. So we have 4. We write a small 4 over here. Now, to get the answer, we still have 2 more to add. So 4 plus 2. 4, 5, 6. So our answer here uh, lands at 6. Whatever answer we have here, we reflect in the first or in the multiplication sentence, that one is 6. So this is the first example of how we multiply or using addition process. Now, example 2. Let's go to example 2. Uh, let's take a case of uh, 3 multiplied by 4. So here we have 3 multiplied 4 equals to dash. How do we write this? Our first digit, 3, is to be written or to be added. That is the number to be added. So we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. How many times is 3 added? 3 multiplied by 4. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. It means 3 is added 4 times to give us 3 times 4. 3 is added 4 times, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, to give us 3 times 4. So let's try and find out our answer. We will start by adding the first two threes. So let's add 3, 4, 5, 6. We write our 6 here. 6, 7, 8, 9. We write our next 9 here. So as we continue adding, we write our answer above here so that you don't forget or you don't miss to add 1. So 9, let's count to adding to the next 3. 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is our final answer here and whatever we write here, we reflect on the, on the multiplication sentence above. So this is how we add, uh, we work out multiplication as added addition. Now, there is also an instance whereby you can be given the addition sentence and then you are required to write or maybe to come up with a multiplication sentence. So let's work example 3. Let's take a case of 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals to dash. Then you are given dash times dash equals to dash. Here, you are given an addition sentence. You are asked, how do we find, come up with the multiplication of these figures to be multiplied? So in this case, you can't just come up with or guess. What we have to do 
we have to find out which number is being added. That should give us our first figure or the first space. So if you look at this sentence or we look at this working, we look at number four. Number four is added several times. We don't know how many times we have not yet counted, but we see number four is being added. So that should give us our first dash behind number four here. Then we now go ahead and count. How many times is this four added? We count one, two, three, four. It is added four times. So that is what we write in our second space, four. So it means that this is four multiplied by four to give us another figure. So we are here to find out what we get as a result from multiplying or maybe adding four, four times. So just as before, or as previously we had done the, uh, the examples, we come and add the first four. Four plus four, we have four on our fingers, and then we add from four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We write our eight here. Eight plus four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We write our twelve here. We continue adding 12 plus our final 4. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So finally we have 16 as our answer. And whatever 16 we have there, because this is the same thing, we will have 4 times 4 giving us 16. So in this case we are yet or we are correct. But let's give another example of in case the numbers are different. For example, we have Number four there. Uh, let's take a case like six times. No, sorry, six plus six plus six. So here we have dash times dash equals to dash. This is digit six. It's added three times. So what are you going to write in our first space? We are going to use the number that is added, that is six. So we write 6 as our first space. How many times is 6 added? Let's count. 1, 2, 3. It is added 3 times. So we write our figure 3 over there. So this means that 6 is multiplied by 3, meaning 6 is added 3 times. So let's find out our answer. Just from the first procedure, we are going to first add the first 2, and then our result, we add to 6. 6 plus 6. Let's count 6 on our fingers. That is 6. And let's count 6 on our head. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12. We write 12 over there. 12 again. Go ahead and add it to 6. So let's count 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 here is our answer. The same 18 we have over there because they're the same or more like the same thing. So we'll add, we'll have 6 times 3 to give us 18. So this is the procedure followed when we're doing multiplication as added addition. But still we can have more examples than from our books or that is let's do mathematics. We can practice more so that you can be well conversant with the subtopic. The learners, we are going to take another example that involves diagrams. Now, for instance, I have um, three oranges, another three oranges here, another three oranges, another three oranges. Now, whatever I have on the blackboard are oranges, so I want to put them together so that I can find out how many times are they multiplied. So let's find out. We have dash times dash equals to dash. So in this case, I will have three group, four groups. That is one, two, three, four. But remember we said, because this is like multiplication as added addition, meaning these objects are added. But we have in the first group, we have three objects. One, two, three. So because we are adding three objects, the first dash here, the first space, will have digit three. To mean that our three oranges is added 
how many times? So let's find out how many times are they added to give us what, three times whatever we have, we have here the results. Let's find out. One, two, three, four. It means that our three oranges are added four times. So here we have three times four. Here, three times four, let's find out our answer. But remember, as for this case, we are not going to write the, added, the, added, the additional sentence. Instead, our answer will be found or maybe will be gotten from counting all the oranges that are in those groups. So let's count all the oranges together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So all the oranges in all those four groups are 12 in number. So that one is the answer to our question, 3 times 4 equals to 12. Now, uh, I'd like to warn us on one thing, that in this case you cannot alter or interchange the figures. For instance, you cannot start with 4 multiplied by 3. Why? Because in the first group you only have 3 objects. If in case you are dealing with objects, we must ensure that our first dash has the number of objects in each group. Meaning that in our first group we have only three objects, instead not four. How many times is the object, how many groups are, in the, are the three objects in? We have one, two, three, four, four. So you cannot change, of which if you write it four times three, then you get twelve. The answer is correct, but the arrangement here is definitely wrong. Meaning, if you write this 4 times 3, it means that there are four, there are three groups, but in each group there are four objects, which is not the same case as we have here. So this is definitely wrong. Now, next to, uh, to our next example, this is example 5. Let's write example 6. Let's take a case of uh, probably a packet of milk. One, we have two packets in each group, so our first dash times dash equals to dash. Let's find out what to be written in the first place. Because we have, in each group we have two packets of milk, let's count one, two. That is what to be written here. So we write our figure two over there. Then, let's count how many groups are each packet, are each, each of the two packets in. The first group is here, one, two, three, four. We have four groups, one, two, three, four. So the four groups comes in the second space. So from here we can easily get the answer without necessarily adding or maybe using the added addition sentence. So let's count all the packets of milk. There we can have our answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in total we have eight packets of milk and that one will give us our answer is eight. So this is how we work out the multiplication has added addition but using using diagrams. Well learners, that is the end of our today's lesson. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.